I've woven a towel, I don't write the set. Um, the set means the number of threads per inch. So I need to change this, but I don't want to redo everything. So what I'm gonna do is treadle my plain weave, or if you don't have plain weave, treadle the closest thing to a plain weave, which is every other thread up or down. Okay, so I do have that in this pattern, okay? Um, so I'm going to open that, take one of my leaf sticks, put it in here, treadle the other plain weave, So when I look at this, I can see that I've got them in order, every other thread. When you're using textile petals, it's easier to do this so you don't have to move these around in the back, okay? Um, these sticks are gonna be used to support everything in just a minute, okay? So once you have that, secure them. This method is also good if you're just playing with sets and you don't want to re-thread, you're just changing the reeds out. So once this is done, I just want to support a little bit so they don't go anywhere. Let your tension off. Okay, I'm gonna cut this because I don't like this. <laughs> So with this said, I'm going to take my beater bar, take this, don't, don't let these drop because I need all of this to come out of the reed. This reed was a six dent. I had three threads in each dent, so it became 18. I'm gonna use an eight dent now with two in a dent, so I'm going down to 16 instead of 18 threads. So what I'm doing is making it less tighter. It's easier if you take the top batten off. These sticks right here are actually going to help me support everything. I'm gonna slide this one over. Slide this one over so now they're supported really well. I'm also going to take my reed and set it this way, okay, so that when I start to slay, which I don't have my slay tool. <laughs> <laughs> so since this was 18 threads per inch, it was a certain width. When I'm doing 16 threads per inch, it's actually going to be a little wider. So I took my total number of threads, I divided it by 16, that told me exactly what my width was. So therefore, I'm using an eight dent, and I know where my width is gonna start, which is right here. It is easier to use the, the leash sticks because in this case, I need two threads, and what I'm doing is I'm looking one over, one. This tells me exactly what's happening back there in the heddles because of this particular cross right here instead of digging your fingers back in here trying to figure out which one was next. If you'll do the sticks first, it actually helps. So then in this case, I know I need two threads, one, two, in each dent, so I'm doing that. Here's my next two threads. Here's my next two threads. Oh, and do them together, so when I do that, so it's easier if you take this and you literally are saying two threads, two threads, I'm looking here, not back here. You can tell if your plain weave, think of these sticks as plain weave. This one's over, this one's under. The next one would be under, over. So it actually alternates all the way across. So when you start to slay, you're just picking up the two putting them in. Next two, in. Next two, in. These two. 
And then when you get to the colored ones with the purple, sometimes they'll match up, sometimes they won't. So these are still two, two. But guess what right here, it's gonna be these two. And then it's actually gonna be a purple and a green or an orchid and a green. But they're still in sets of twos and I'm following my leash sticks. So let me get that done. We'll start weaving it. What we're doing is seeing the difference in sets. Mm -hmm. 